This Xcode lesson is on how to place a large image into your app and use the scroll view to allow the user to see the whole picture in high resolution. So you'll need to import a large picture. This one's 1440 by 900. Clearly that won't fit onto a normal screen. Let's create a screen for this to transition to. We'll need a new UI view controller. And we'll want to put it in landscape mode for this one. We need a button for it to return to the main menu. You don't want to place the button right up against the top unless you absolutely need the space because uh, the top is reserved for the status bar. Okay, so we have the button. Now we need to add a scroll view controller. That's towards the bottom. Now let's fill that up into the rest of the screen. Okay. Now we add our image view controller. And what we need to do for this image view is set it to the 1440 by 900. And we can select the image. One thing that I'd like to do is pin the position of our scroll view. So we'll pin it to the top space. We'll pin it. need to select the scroll view again. We'll pin it to the leading space and we'll also pin it to the trailing space. So that'll make sure it works on the four inch and three and a half inch. Next, we need to subclass this view in order to uh, in order to be able to set our scroll view pro properly. And this will be based off a view controller and we'll call this image scroll. And it will go in with the rest of the source files, so that's okay. And let's just move that into the right alphabetical order. We need to add a couple of IB outlets. We can use autocomplete. We need the UI scroll view. 
and let it autocomplete. And we'll just call it scroll V. Need another another IV outlet, and this is UI image view. That's it. That's all we need for that one. Let's open that up in a separate spot. Now we can go to the storyboard. We'll just build the project so all the variables are available. Select the view controller. Use the third tab here. And you can now select image scroll view controller. Use the storyboard ID. We'll copy this. With command C and paste it into there and hit enter. Okay, now we can go to the scroll view and you need to right click and you need to reference outlet, new referencing outlet. Now we need to do the same thing for image view. And that's done. And it has image B, so that's good. Now we need to add some code. And the routine that we're overriding is called view did layout subviews. And for this, we only need to do one thing. We need to set the content size. And we're going to copy the content size of our image. And we need to grab that from the frame and the size. And if you've completed the object-oriented lesson or exercise, you will know that uh, these are properties of those two classes. Now we're ready to run this. Oops, we need to hook up our buttons. Let's go back to the storyboard view. So we'll just make button three. Switch to there, modal. I'm going to use right click. And we right click on this one and make it go back to our main screen. And again, modal. Now we can run it. Okay, so button three takes us to the screen. And we can scroll. Okay, notice that it, this is called bounce when you can pull past the edges. We can control the bounce by selecting scroll view. Go to the fourth tab and uncheck mark the bounces. Now when we go to the edge, it just stays at the edge. Okay, and that's it for this image scrolling lesson.